Hello everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how to perform a local or remote pass-through to a Micrologix that is connected to a CMT3152X through either a serial or Ethernet connection. To get started, we're going to perform a local Ethernet pass-through to our Micrologix. I'm currently connected to my HMI directly on the 10.5.10 .10 subnet while the Micrologix is connected to the second LAN port of our HMI and is on the 192.168.0 subnet. To initiate our pass-through, we'll begin by opening our Utility Manager. The Utility Manager is an application installed with EasyBuilder Pro. And if you don't have a shortcut to access this application, you can simply type Utility within your search bar and the Utility Manager will be displayed. Now within our Utility Manager, we'll need to ensure that the HMI series displayed in the top left corner matches the series within our application. If it does not, we'll select it to open a drop-down list in which we can choose the correct series. Next, let's select the Analysis and Testing tab, and at the bottom, we'll find our Ethernet pass-through utility. If we select this utility, it will prompt us to restart the Utility Manager with elevated permissions. I'll select Yes. And with our Utility Manager back open, we'll open our Ethernet pass-through settings. I'll configure the IP address of the LAN port that I'm currently connected to at the top. And towards the center, we can define the port number of our HMI, but unless you've changed this within the system parameters of your EasyBuilder Pro project, we can leave our port number set to 8000. I'll then configure the IP address of our PLC, and when finished, I'll click Connect. And within the dialog below, we can see that our pass-through has been established, and looking at RS links, we can see our MicroLogics. Now using RS Logix, let's go online with our PLC. And since our Ethernet pass-through is fairly quick, we're now connected. Now let's perform a local serial pass-through, again using our CMT3152X and a Micrologix. For this example, I'm connected to my HMI directly on the 10.5.10 .10 subnet, and the HMI is connected to the PLC via RS-232. And before we open our Utility Manager, I'd like to note that in some cases, when performing a serial pass-through, it may be necessary to stop communication between the HMI and PLC using our system tag for pass-through control, LW9903. To stop communication using this tag, we will set a value of 2 within this register. This of course can be done either by adding an object addressed to LW9903 to your project, or by accessing this register through CMT Diagnoser. With that said, while I perform our serial pass-through, I've configured this object within our HMI project, and I've set a command value of 2 within this register. So let's open our Utility Manager. And as in our last example, I'll ensure that the HMI series listed in the top left corner matches the HMI model used within our application. And within the Analysis and Testing tab, we'll select Serial Pass-Through. If our Utility Manager is not currently running with elevated permissions, it will prompt us to restart this application. So we'll need to click Yes and then open our serial pass-through utility. If this is your first time running the serial pass-through, then you'll need to install Wintech's virtual serial port driver.
and the virtual COM port should be displayed. Within our pass-through settings, you can see that our virtual COM port is COM3, and so I've configured this COM port within the driver in RS Links as well. And although these settings are valid, if you need to change the virtual COM port within your serial pass-through to match the settings within the PLC software, you can do so by accessing the Device Manager within Windows, and I'll expand our port section, We'll right-click our virtual serial port and select Properties. I'll click the Port Settings tab. And if we click Advanced, we can select a new virtual COM port for serial pass-through. But let's close the Device Manager. And within the Mode drop-down list, We'll leave our mode configured to normal. I'll enter the HMI's IP. And I've left the HMI's communication port at its default setting, 8000. But again, if you've changed this within the Model tab of the system parameters within your EasyBuilder Pro project, you'll want to make sure that your configuration reflects those changes. And the same can be said about the pass-through port which by default is configured to 2000. Unless it's been changed within your project. And the HMI is currently connected to the PLC through COM1. And with those settings configured, I'll click Apply. And we'll give our RS links a moment to find our device. And with our device found, let's open RS Logix and go online with our PLC. Now that we've finished our local Ethernet and local serial pass through, I'll demonstrate how we can perform a remote pass-through using Easy Access 2.0. Now in order to perform a remote pass-through using Easy Access 2.0, we'll need to ensure that our HMI is connected to our Easy Access server. To check this, on my CMT, I'll click the orange disk in the top left corner, And then I'll unlock my settings menu by selecting the lock icon and enter the HMI's password, which by default is 111111. Once unlocked, I'll scroll down the menu on the left side and select the Easy Access 2.0 tab. And on the right, I'll select Easy Access 2.0 Connection. If you don't have this option, or if this selection is labeled Activation, this means that you will need to activate your HMI in order to use Easy Access. In the description below, I've linked two separate videos that explain how to do this. Within our Easy Access Connection menu, our connection status and controls are displayed. Right now the HMI state, or status, is connected, but if your HMI status is disconnected, you will need to ensure that the HMI has internet access, and that the network configuration is valid. After which, you can press the start button to attempt connection. Now that we know our HMI is connected, we'll need to open the Easy Access application on our PC. If you don't currently have this application, you can download it from our website, wintechusa.com. With our application open, I'll log in to my domain.
we can see that the HMI on our display is online. And so we'll select the inward facing arrows to log in to our HMI. Underneath our HMI's name, we'll find the IP address assigned by Easy Access 2.0. And this is the address that we'll need to establish communication remotely with the serial pass-through application. To perform a serial pass-through, let's open our Utility Manager. And as in our last example, we'll need to select the HMI series used within our application from our drop-down list on the top left. Next, we'll select the Analysis and Testing tab and click Serial Pass-through. Like last time, I'll receive a message prompting me to restart the Utility Manager with elevated permissions. If you haven't closed the Utility Manager since our last example, you may not receive this message, but I'll select Yes, and after our application reloads, I'll select Serial Pass-Through. Let's keep our PC to HMI interface set to Ethernet. Within our Mode drop-down list, I'll select Normal. And for our HMI's IP, I'm going to copy our Easy Access IP. Within the Easy Access 2.0 application, you'll notice we have a small box next to our IP. And if we click this, the IP will be copied. Now within my serial pass-through application, I'll paste this IP, configure our HMI's communication port to 8000, and the pass-through port to 2000 which both matches the configuration of our system parameters and is the default setting for each port. As in our last example, we have our virtual COM port set to 3, which matches the COM port used within RS Lynx. Our HMI is communicating to the PLC through COM1, and so we'll select this as well, and then click Apply in the bottom right corner. Now, as mentioned in our local serial pass-through example, I've also configured our HMI to stop communication with the PLC using our system tags. And although this is necessary for the micrologics, it may not be necessary if you're attempting a serial pass-through to a different device. Be sure to check the PLC connection guide associated with your device for more information. Now, if we look within RS Links, Our device has been found. So let's go online with our PLC and RS Logics. And since we now have successfully completed a serial pass through, let's take a look at how we can perform an Ethernet pass through using Easy Access. I have my Easy Access application open. And so when performing an Ethernet pass-through using Easy Access 2.0, we have a shortcut that can be found within our Easy Access application. You'll notice once connected to an HMI through Easy Access, a small red arrow with the words pass-through just under our HMI's virtual IP address. If we select this arrow, we can perform a pass-through to up to six Ethernet devices simultaneously. In this example, I'll perform a single pass-through to our MicroLogix by entering the IP of the PLC within the IP1 entry box. Once finished, I'll select the Set button, and then close our pass-through menu by clicking the red X in the top right corner. Now our pass-through is configured, and we should find our device listed within RS Lynx, and we can then go online with our PLC in RS Logix.
If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.